Sometimes historical events happen, they can be in front of our eyes, we may not even see it. And sometimes we think major events are happening and they're not. I remember I was in Israel, 1990, during the crisis with Iraq, where you had all the warships around the world came to free Kuwait from Iraq's grips and Bush Sr. was the one heading the whole war, the military, and brought everyone together and everyone was convinced. All the warships around the world, this is Gogu Mago, this is the final war. And it wasn't. The ships came, fought against Iraq. It was a bit of a joke of a war. He was not prepared to defend himself in any way. And everyone went home. And that was the end of that. So people thought it was a historical event, and it wasn't. On the other hand, 1897, the Zionist Congress, people didn't think anything of it, and it ended up very big. 48, 67, so we don't always know. Only hindsight could teach us that. But my gut feeling is that today's event of the last 24 hours, where we have Trump declaring Jerusalem is the capital of Israel, I think this is going to go down as a day in history in 100 years from now. 500 years of people look back and say, wow, that was a major game changer. It was a paradigm change in history where 666 times our Tanakh, our Tanakh, the Jewish Bible recognizes Jerusalem and this talks about Jerusalem. And that was our capital. That's where our temples were. That's where our temple's going to be again. And to have a world power, Trump, go ahead and make that statement and say that now we are moving. He is physically going to move the embassy to Israel from, from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. To me, that's an earth-shattering event. What's going to be for sure? We don't know. Is it going to lead Hasar Shalom to war, to terrorism? Because of course, that's what the world is threatening in retaliation. Because when they don't get what they want, instead of good healthy diplomacy, just threaten with war against Trump and against the Jews. But Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem, we have a tremendous security force here and so much Hakarata Tova appreciation for the police force and for the army and all the various units and the intelligence, so much Hakarata Tov. We know 24-7 they're going to be working to make sure to thwart any attacks against us from anywhere within Israel or outside of Israel. And we're going to keep davening Hashem should give us siyata deshmaya, help from above. And we daven that Hashem should bless Trump's actions as well. This certainly could make him one of the chasidei umot alam, where he could go down to history, like Horish did thousands of years ago, granting the Jews permission to rebuild the temple. Who knows where this is going to lead to? Let's keep davening and praying that this day is the beginning of a very, very new special and new chapter in Jewish history, one which eventually is going to lead Mietz Hashem to the Gula Shlema.